Head to Deer Grove at 1.20. Explore the ice caves at 2.30. Relax in the hot springs at 4 o'clock. The time after 6 is all yours. Hey, hasn't our journey been a little too eventful? I won two spa vouchers when I traded in my tickets at the foot of the mountain, and then I got really lucky and won some free drinks. And that souvenir vendor? If I hadn't told them no, they would have handed over their sled dog. Wait, we're not about to be scammed, right? Right? The next train will depart in 10 minutes. Please walk to the platform and wait. Why are you touchy-feely all of a sudden? Uh, never mind. Let's go. All right, now we'll be picking one person from the crowd. They will get the chance to have a close encounter with the friendly animals at Deer Grove. And our lucky guest is... Number 23! Huh? Hold on. Me? Again? Get your hands... No, get your tongues off me. Help, help, they're gonna eat me. What are you talking about? If you were even a second later, a second, they would have eaten me for dinner. Pretend I said nothing. Let's go. At least there aren't any weird animals in this cave. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to direct your attention to the area ahead of us. What we're seeing is a glacier cave that was formed millions of years ago. They say if you gather a handful of snow, make a wish, and then bury it in the ground, the mountain spirit will bless you. It will also grant your wish.
It's hard. Over here, someone's passed out. Are you still waiting? For the chance to wish me a happy birthday. You brought me here and planned all these activities. Wasn't it leading up to this moment? <laughs> or did you actually drag me out into the woods to sell me to someone? What are you doing? Help, please, is someone there? Miss Bodyguard, is this your first time breaking the rules? You look kind of awkward. Thanks. I got a phone notification about a ticket three days ago. It hoped I would have a wonderful adventure for my birthday. Watching you run around and get everything ready, figured I should pretend I was in the dark. Why? What are you doing? I guess a certain someone who's busy celebrating my birthday is still a five-year-old. I take that back. She's only three. You... All right, all right. I'll stop. 
do whatever you want. Why you gotta say awful things on my birthday? So rude. Wanna know? My wish is for you to always Fine, you win. I won't say it out loud. Can you say something more than just happy birthday? It's a little lame, but practical. Okay. <laughs> I'll do my best. I am happy, and whenever you're around, I'm very happy. You're welcome. I will say that the spectacular view you mentioned isn't easy to find. Good luck. What are we doing now? Not really. It's how I've always felt since I came ashore. On a day like this, I often think about the past, so I prefer to be alone and buried in my thoughts. Honestly, my birthday is like any other day. There's nothing particularly worth celebrating. I can see that. Could you please quiet down a little? It's kind of sad to die in an avalanche just for saying a pretty snow-covered mountain, don't you think? If you're gonna shout, you should say something you won't regret. You really did climb over mountains to just show me a view, huh? Do you know the story behind this photo? It was a gift, from a teacher. He said that I needed to observe the world before I learned how to paint. But in a world where it's 70% ocean and 30% land, 
there would always be a 30% I couldn't grasp. You know, his lessons always involved studying and mimicking weird photos and old artworks. I have no idea where he got them from. But I didn't want to stare at photos and pictures and use my imagination. I told him I couldn't paint what I hadn't seen with my own eyes. Oh, even worse. When he couldn't argue with me, he spoke to my family. I was grounded for several days. But I wasn't going to just take it lying down. That year, when it was my birthday, they let me out. I swam against the ocean currents from the deep sea. Afraid of being discovered, I only extended my hand past the water's surface. He said things from the shore can't be brought to Lemuria, and anything from Lemuria can't survive on land. What a liar. Look at me. I grew up just fine. <sighs> yeah. Even if I search for something, it won't be exactly like the image I have in my mind. I need to see it with my own eyes, touch it with my own hands, and understand it myself. My snot's about to be turned into icicles. Since it's still early, we should go home and sleep some more. Yeah? You really want to hear it? I wish the person who vowed to stay by my side keeps her promise and is by my side every year. And that she shows me her world. When you're on the losing side, the smart move would be to surrender. Why are you bullying me on my birthday? You're a meanie. Wanna know? My wish is... For you to always Ah, saying it means it won't come true. <laughs> 